Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. I was counting the number of day, yeah, day four. I mean, since Saturday, uh, day number four of uh, scattered uh, showers and some uh, thunderstorms. Active weather day today. Look at downtown Providence under mainly cloudy conditions. It's the kind of situation where the coverage is not very uniform. So while uh, one town is getting a heavy downpour or thunderstorm, next town over it's a light rain shower. For instance, in West Warwick a little while ago, you had a very heavy thunderstorm that sat there for about an hour, some localized street flooding. So it's been that kind of a situation today. In North Kingstown, a mostly cloudy. Cloudy temperatures now that are you know cool for almost July. It's in the upper 60s to low 70s. Humidity high enough to be creating some of these downpours. High temps today, uh, not as warm as yesterday, reaching the mid 70s in most locations. The average high for this time of year is 81. In fact, Oakland Beach in Warwick is already down into the upper 60s, but the humidity is high at 90%. So when you have so much moisture in the air like we do now, it's easy to kind of wring it out and at times produce some of these uh, showers and thunderstorms. So showers scattered uh, this evening. Uh, especially the early part of the evening, along with an isolated thunderstorm. But as we get deeper into the evening and towards midnight, a lot of this activity will tend to wind down, and then it refires again uh, on Wednesday. So we continue to be kind of in repeat mode. This would be day number five, scattered showers and thunder hit and miss. The best chances is during the afternoon and evening. The chances are somewhat small in the morning and then increasing during the afternoon. Uh, early call on the holiday weekend still looks pretty good, both... Um, Saturday, 4th of July, Saturday, and Sunday. Satellite radar composite uh, showing the activity on top of us right now. And you see the flashes? We've got some lightning strikes now in the uh, northwest corner of the state. I'll remove the cloud cover to show you the radar. And some heavier cells just over the border in northeastern Connecticut, uh, right on Route 44. This is Route 6. This is Route 44 right in here. Boroughville, you're seeing some flashes of lightning and some thunderstorms, some downpours, so more than likely some localized uh, street flooding and what lightning we had over situation it is now uh, diminishing. So we'll keep this activity going through at least uh, the early evening hours. And what's responsible is a, is a stalled weather system, what we call an upper level low. So the circulation in the high levels of the atmosphere, this huge counterclockwise swirl, and what it's doing is making the atmosphere unstable each afternoon. It becomes conducive to hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. And we do it all over again for tomorrow as well. So getting real close, the early evening, you see some weakening showers and thunder. This is 7 o'clock in the evening. Watch how that more or less decreases. Here we are at midnight, mostly cloudy, some patchy fog. And then tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., waking up to clouds and 63. You don't see much in the way of showers or thunder. But then as we take you into the afternoon, it starts to increase again. And every now and then, little elements of orange and red indicating you get an occasional downpour or a thunderstorm. Temperatures uh, tomorrow afternoon, early tomorrow evening, you know, much like today, mid and upper 70s. And then later tomorrow evening, with the setting of the sun and cool temperatures, that shower activity tends to diminish. So for tomorrow morning, a mostly cloudy start, slight chance of a shower by late morning, but a better chance, albeit scattered, of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Temperatures in the middle to upper 70s, some heavy downpours at times. Seven-day forecast, we are drier, warmer on Thursday. Not a rain day for Friday, but a few showers possible at 79. And the holiday weekend, Saturday and Sunday, looking good. You know, 4th of July, uh, mainly sunny. And looking at temperatures, not too warm or hot, you know, generally in the upper 70s with sunshine and some fair weather clouds and a little warmer on Sunday with some sunshine, Mike, and a temperature at 82. So another day of uh, showers and then improving, at least drying out towards the end of the week.